and we finally see the conclusion to the Mary Jane and Sila battle and I've gotta say, fucking Elfman Smash. That's pretty much all I can say about this chapter with freaking the end of the fight. So one thing that really caught me in this chapter and what I really liked was that we got a lot and I mean a lot of backstory between Mira Jane, Lisanne, and Elfman. I thought that was a really nice thing to add at the end of this fight of this chapter when Mira Jane was trying to use a takeover on Sila because she just do it just doesn't work and she can't win normally because she is way too strong. And you see that Sila is absolutely wrecking her. And it's like like Lisanne can't do anything because she's like tied up by that freaking rabbit thing over there. And when you see him like um, in the backstory say, oh, I need to do this for my family. It's like, you see that she was, like, once, like, she helped a village from a demon. She got, like, a demon arm there from that takeover, and she didn't know how to control it at that time, so she don't know how to get rid of it, and everyone in the village is branding her and her family as demons, and it, I really liked it when freaking Lizana just got up there saying, you know, she's the one that saved you from this demon and all that, and this is what you repay her with, calling her a demon. I thought that was really strong. Like, these siblings really care for each other, and they show that, you know, that all the time, and when they finally reached Fairy Tale, like, it was especially sad to see, like, when uh, Mira Jane could not even make any friends or didn't want to talk to anyone, because she did generally start thinking that she was a demon, and she thought the best way to do it was by leaving Lisanna and Elfman there, since they were enjoying themselves, and it's like, I'm just going to go on my own, like, I'm just going to be late alone traveling. And just to see what those two do for her when they find out, you know, oh, we've learned the same magic as you, you know, we've done that, we can do takeover as well. And it's like, yeah, I can only do my arm, though. It's like, and like, Lizana's there with a the cat one. It's like, they don't care, they're family, they stick together. And that was a meaningful part of the chapter. And when she finally said, I don't give a crap, as long as I can, like, protect my family and all that, I will, like, take you over like that. And it's like, she takes over, and turns out she actually takes over a part of her power. I would have preferred if Mira Jane actually took over, like, this soul and actually, like, had, a, like, a new power to her. Like, it looked crazy. She had to look like Sila. That would look sick to me. I think that would look absolutely beast, but instead what she did, she took over her power and then ordered Elfman to protect them, and he just came around and smashed him a fucking Hulk smash, freaking crusher. And that's the, that's the end of the fight there. Like, I would have preferred, actually, if, um... Mira Jane would have just, like, got the power and just one shot. I honestly would have felt that would have been a lot better than an ending for her. Even still, this was a very good fight, I feel, for the fact This probably was one of the best fights, um, alongside the Wendy versus Ezel fight. Like, this is probably one of the second favorite fights so far in Taurus. It was a very good fight, and I really can't wait to see what's going to happen next in Fairy Tale. It was, like, an enjoyable chapter. We had some sad stuff go in the middle. Like... It's, it's best and just nice, like, because w when was the last time we ever got any content on, like, Mira J, Lisana, Elfman, and it's, I guess that it's just a suiting way to end it if, like, the whole family's reunited, just like that, and I thought that was a really touching moment, but let me know what you think of the conversation down below, what did you think of this chapter of Fairy Tale? was it dope, was it, uh, was you a little bit disappointed with the whole side of this Mira J fight, for me, I thought it was an alright fight, I enjoyed it. Like that, the only issue I had was like, I would have preferred if Mira Jane just took over the whole near soul and just got a new power and just fucked her up like that. But still, it was a good fight and I really, it had an enjoyable ending. But that's all for me, for everyone. So thank you very much for watching this. Always remember, I'll see you again.